Starting September, Mississippi Power customers will see an increase of 18% in their monthly electric bills. Last week, the Mississippi Public Service Commission voted two to one for a temporary increase to help relieve construction costs of the controversial Kemper plant. The increase mainly affects customers in the southeastern portion of the state, but effects will also be felt closer to home. Well, it actually does affect some people in the Central District because Mississippi Power Company sells about 40 percent of its power to electric power associations, and we have electric power associations in Rankin County and other counties around here, and they are buying power directly, indirectly, from Mississippi Power Company through their electric power associations. So it has a direct effect on them. Meet Cecil Brown. He's a Democrat running for Public Service Commission for the Central District. The seat is currently held by Republican Lynn Posey, who is not running for re-election. Our request for an interview was not returned. Posey voted for the rate increase. If you were in that particular seat um, you know, right now, how would you have voted? Well, based on the little bit I know about, and I say little bit because so much of what happens with the commission is sort of behind closed doors, but I tend to uh, favor the position that Brandon has uh, all along. I think Brandon has been right from the beginning saying that they shouldn't have gone forward with the project and uh, they should have not been given the 18 percent. Really, that's what the Supreme Court said. It's no secret I've not been a supporting member of the cast for Kemper Power, for the Kemper Power Plant. I mean, um, I, I go back a multi-year history of opposing the, the Kemper Project, uh, even back in, you know, 2010. Cecil Brown faces Republican Brent Bailey in the November general election. Bailey says despite the Republican votes for the increase by sitting PSC members, he'd break party ranks and vote against it. It's hard for me to, it, it would be extremely hard for me to make the decision to provide this level of cost recovery for a project that we're still not sure that's going to operate as advertised five, six years ago. Meanwhile, Intergy, which serves a good majority of the southwest portion of the state, says in September, customers will enjoy a decrease in rates. Yes, we um, we just announced our third rate decrease this year. Uh, this was due largely to the falling prices of natural gas on the world market. And starting with the September billing cycle, customers who use, the typical customer uses about 1,000 kilowatts uh, per month. And a little higher, tends to be higher in the summer, but that's the standard that all utilities use. And for that amount, you'll see a reduction of nearly $6.50. Mara Hartman with Entergy says their rates are 20% below the national average. I'm Eric Walker, JSU-TV.